Hey everybody, happy Friday. So glad that you're gonna join me today or hopefully you're watching me on the replay. Um, in case we haven't met before, my name is Deanna Fenton and you're joining me for day five of a series that I started out calling the biggest mistakes that I see Kajabi site owners make. Um, but today I wanted to talk about the page builder. And it was kind of, I was challenged to try and f decide what I wanted to cover today. I thought the page builder was a good example because I think there's a little misunderstanding about how you can use the page builder. You can use it for standalone pages. You can use it to create pages on your website. And you can use it in conjunction with creating a pipeline. I'm gonna pop on over to one of my Kajabi sites. This is like I, I affectionately call Deanna's sandbox. You can use the page builder to create a, what I would call kind of a static page, a standard page on your website. So that means an about page. That means a contact us page. You can use the page builder to build those pages and then you build out navigation for your website and your navigation will link to that standalone page. But what the page builder also does is it creates landing pages. Now, just for those of you that, that might be kind of new to online marketing terminology and, and um, how things are, are used, Landing pages are typically a page that has one specific purpose. And because of that, it's not like a page on your website. They typically do not have any kind of navigation. So there wouldn't be anything at the top like you would have with a standard website. Um, because what you want is you want the person who lands hence the name, lands on that page to perform or do one specific thing. And by removing navigation, by not having anything else, a sidebar or anything else to distract them, it focuses their attention to take the one action that you're requesting. With landing pages, you can have a different kind of landing page. So there is such a thing as an opt-in page. And let's go ahead and preview this particular opt-in page. And this is just an example here um, where this was, this one is actually, it's funny, I don't know why I even pulled up this one, but this one would be, you could have um, an opt-in form. So an opt-in form could be signing up for your lead magnet, it could be for a webinar registration. It's gonna be anything where somebody is going to enter their email address to register or request something. That typically would be called an opt-in. Again, a landing page could be a webinar registration. You want them to do one thing, you want them to register for a webinar. So landing pages to me, encompasses an opt-in, a registration, a sales page. Um, and there's actually mo even more pages that, that you could create. So with the page builder that is built in here, you can create a standalone page. This might be um, if you wanted to create a sales page template, which I think is an awesome idea. Maybe you're just going to create a template here that would kind of have all the sections built out that you would like to have in a sales page. This might be where you create your about page for your website. Now, pipeline pages, and you can see you can toggle between these two. Now, these are going to be the, um, the groupings of pages that are built into a pipeline, and your pipeline are your different kinds of funnels. You can have one for the freebie. And so any pages that would be generated when you're creating an, a funnel for people to opt in for freebie will be in collections 
and shown here. They're also shown under marketing and pipelines, but they're shown here as well. So let's, let's look at a standalone page and let's just talk um, <clears throat> about using um, a standalone page. And I'll show you, for example, one, one template that I started to create. And that was, and I'm still gonna do this at test, this would be some um, interesting to test right here, is having a live webinar and using YouTube Live to embed a live broadcast as a live webinar into this page. Now, there's not a lot here, because this was just something I started to build, but if I wanted to customize this page, I would just click on the link over here that says customize. And with the beauty of the premiere theme for building a page, I can add and remove I should say add, remove, and customize sections of this page very, very easily. So you can see right now I have something called the hero section. So this would be your compelling headline, um, a little bit of a description, and then a call to action button. All of this obviously is customizable. All of this, the image and the image overlay is customizable by simply clicking on that link where here is where I can change my title to my compelling headline. I can put my sub content, you know, a description in here. I could put a different background image just by selecting and uploading a new image. I could actually make it a background video instead of an image if I wanted to. And you can play and tweak your text colors, your alignment, the spacing, etc. Now, this is one, if we're talking about, as I like to say, the mistakes or more likely the overlooked uh, things when you're working with the page builder is always look when you, you scroll all the way down for everything. Here, there are blocks. So there is the call to action is the block that is in there right now. So you have to remember to scroll down to get to that part to customize that button. And that's again, changing whatever the call to action is. You might wanna change what the words say. Um, buy now, register now, get yours now. Anything that gives that incentive and that motivation and tell somebody by clicking that button, what's gonna happen next. Then that is where you also it, you have what the action is. Once they click the button, what is going to happen? So it might be to go to a URL. It might be to go to a checkout page. Obviously, if we were talking about a sales page where it's buy now, you want the, that button to take them directly to the checkout page for whatever offer it is that you're selling. So it's always, always important to remember that when we're working with the page builder, scroll all the way down because you may find that there's additional areas that you can customize. Now I'm going to go back and let's just um, let's just build a new standalone page. So like everything else, up in the right hand corner, we've got a blue button that says new page. For the most part, you'll see here, there are different options available. And I'm just gonna actually, I wanna grab this one because I love this one. This was really modeled after Marie Forleo's um, opt-in page. So I can grab this and this is going to be uh, an opt-in. And you can see the only purpose for this particular page is to actually get somebody's email address. So the example that, that we're gonna show here, takes a few seconds, there we go, is this was Marie Forleo's, it still might be her main lead magnet on her website, which is a free audio training. Again, you can edit this any way that you want. This could be an opt-in for a cheat sheet. It could be for a 
free video or something. But the idea is here, this is a template that you can start with and you can edit this, changing out the image, changing out the text, um, having more information about in the form and then where you want them to go after they click the submit button. And you can see here, you also, because this is a form, they're gonna ask you to create the form where you can create the automations that you want once somebody signs up. Because obviously once somebody signs up, you wanna add them to your list, but maybe you want to identify where and how that they signed up for your list and you wanna create a tag so this gives you the option to create your own form and add whatever kind of um, identifiers that you want that once somebody signs up, you're going to know they opted in for this particular lead magnet. Now, we could add more stuff to this, but you really don't need to and you probably don't want to. The intention is you want them very, very focused that they, this is a compelling headline that says, this is what you're going to get. This is why, this is what it is. And this is what you're going to receive. And they opt in for it. You don't want them to have to think too hard. You don't want to make it too verbose. That's going to confuse and overwhelm. And therefore they're not going to take any action. You want to make it simple and to the point. Oh, let's let this is this is the important one, which is custom content. So custom content gives you a lot of flexibility on how you want to display your content here. You can use again a background image. Let's just say it would let's do an image. And I'm gonna save that one and I'm gonna go back and I'm actually I'm going to get rid of this text. Yep. Stick with me. We're going to make three images side by side. And each time you do the container width or each time you add an image, it's going to readjust that. I'm going to add one more image. I know what I need to do. I need to model a sales page for you guys one time. <clears throat> so I'm actually making the container width now all 4 slash 12 because that's going to put them, should put them all on the same line. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got one more I got to get. This guy. This guy's got to be 412. There we go. So maybe there is something, um, three bonuses that you want to highlight and you want to have an image. And then you could also do the same thing and add three boxes of text and have the explanation about what each bonus is. My point being, there are many, many, many predefined blocks of, of content that you can use and customize on the page in the premier page builder. Um, and then if you don't have something that quite fits, you can create custom ones. Well, that was the page builder. And you can see just honestly, the flexibility and the opportunity of how you can use it, whether it is creating the opt-in for a freebie, whether it's creating um, that pipeline for your webinar registrations. Um, and again, creating those, what are the traditional or what called a long form sales pages that are going to encourage somebody to um, obviously buy your offer. The whole point of the whole thing. It was, it was a little slow. I know this week I've had so many of you on here live with me and asking questions, especially yesterday. We had a really, really great session. Anyway, those of you watching on the replay, thank you uh, as well. Again, any questions, you can pop them in the comments. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and I will look forward to seeing you again really, really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.